Welcome to another Airbrush Asylum video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the DNA Mutant Crystals to create a really simple crystallized effect. I'm gonna candy over it. Let's get into it right now. So you can see this is an aluminum composite panel. I've base coated this in black and just given it a light sand with some 800 wet and dry. And now I'm going to spray a base coat of silver with my Awada LPH80. This has got a 0.8 mil needle nozzle setup and the E2 air cap. Okay, so now that the silver base coat is dry, I am going to use the mutant crystal and you can use it straight out of the bottle so just going to pour a little bit into this cup don't need a lot that's enough using a chucks so bought this from your local supermarket it's just a dishwashing cloth dip it in to the solution and then it can be dripping that's fine and then what we're going to do is i'm just going to run that over the panel as evenly as possible just dragging that across And now it'll start to crystallize. So you can already see it happening here. If I pan back out, you can see the panel is crystallized. I mean, it looks pretty cool just as is. Once that fully dries off, then I'll spray a contrasting color over the top, which will be black. You can see how all those crystals are formed. It looks amazing. So you can obviously also clear coat this and then do artwork over it. For today's video, I'm just gonna coat it with a bit of candy. Okay, so the next step is, now that the uh, mutant crystals have masked off the silver base, I'm gonna spray a contrasting color over the top and this is gonna be a black. It's over-reduced, so run it uh, a lot thinner than normal. And I'm gonna do a, a couple of light coats over the top, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now using warm water and a grey scotch pad, I'm going to scuff the area, which should create our mutant crystal pattern. Just go in all directions so that get it scotchy properly. And using a paper towel, it's going to go ahead and wipe that dry. And then we have the pattern ready for candy. So now I'm going to spray a red candy over the top. Just another close-up of the completed panel with the candy red over the top of the mutant crystal. I'm going to throw some two-pack clear over this, which will really make it pop. And then you can also do artwork over the top if you like. I might even reserve that for another video and continue on with this panel. And to continue your learning, be sure to check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here. And until next time, for this video anyway, go grab your spray gun, do some amazing custom painting, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.